Hey, Shalawa, first and foremost, I want to give all the honours and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh. Bahasham Yahabashai, Bahasham Mahavaka Kwadash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahabashai. In who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because we're living in the last days, the last days. Lord willing, you're going to be edified. It's going to be a quick lesson because I have data. I need to free up some data. Lord willing, it's going to be edified. Excuse me just a minute. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. I'm just trying to get some light upon this camera. Terrible lighting. <laughs> Hold on just a minute. Let me, let me ease it up a little bit. Let me ease up the camera. You know, it's just a blessing to be able to teach this word. Regardless of what we go through. That's better. Regardless of what we go through, it's just, it's an honor, right? To be able to teach this word and minister to the elect that they will be saved in these last days. So we're going to go to John 16 and 33. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. So you have spoken unto us, right? In him... We might have peace. So our peace is in Yahweh Shai. This is, this is our peace. In him you might have peace. Most people, they don't have peace. Even though they may a lot of act like they're happy, they're not happy, they're miserable. <laughs> in the world you shall have tribulation. So always put this in mind. In the world you shall have tribulation. So we're catching pure tribulations in this world. What's tribulations? Hardships, sufferings, trials. Right? But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. But be of good cheer. Yahweh has overcome the world. How do we know? Let's go. Come on. It's about the end result. It's not about the heaven now. It's like the page is missing. Oh man. But it talks about and this is the this is the victory that has, that has overcome the world, the faith that we have. So, if you have that faith in Yahweh Shire, let me pan the camera somewhere else. If you have that faith, excuse me, in Yahweh Shire, you know what that means? You know what that means? That means you've overcome the world. You've overcome all things in this world, of this world, through faith in Yahweh Shire. Right? Through that faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shire. It's already been written. So it doesn't really matter uh, what people do, what they say. It doesn't matter. Because through the belief in Yahweh Shai, we have overcome the world. You know? For real. Just some comforting words for the brothers and sisters. And you know how we're um, catching tribulation? Check this out. Thessalonians 1. And six, seeing this is a righteous thing, it's righteous, right? Did the most high to recompense tribulation, recompense is to pay back tribulation, which we're going through now, to them that trouble you. So those that want to trouble you, try to do that little, just the, the, the little antics and so forth, the Lord's going to trouble them, right? He's going to turn the tables, right? Now, just because was, I'm saying this, do we feel troubled by them? Me personally, no I don't, but they are troubling the elect. The Lord's going to trouble them. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. Paul, this is Paul speaking. When the Lord Jehovah shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. So the Lord's going to crack through them clouds with his mighty angels. Right, let this lab, um, so that's what Jehovah is going to do. He's going to come through them clouds with them holy angels. Right? Mighty angels in the flame and fire. So the Lord Yahweh is coming with that flame and fire. Fire. Right? Burn fire. Burn Babylon. So that's what Yahweh is coming with fire. For those that trouble us. 
right? Because we're being troubled right now. But the Lord, you have just going to turn them tables, right? Inflaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the most high, right? And those that obey not the gospel of Mashiach, right? So that's how it's going to go down. Those that trouble the elect, they're going to be troubled. We're going through tribulation now. But the tables are going to turn, right? Everything that we're going through, that's all going to turn. But we have to go for this tribulation now, right? We have to go through this, the hardship, right? This is what we have to go through. Okay, you're right there. Okay, and it says Baba Kisha, and take in flame and fire, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power, when he shall come to be glorified in all his saints and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day, right? In that day. Okay, so man, we just have to keep enduring. I know it's I know it's hard. I know there's so much spiritual warfare. I know there's so much things happening. We have to keep in, we have to keep enduring. We have to keep enduring. There's so many things happening, right? And um, Satan, yes, he's given permission to do certain things by the heavenly Father. You know, Job, Prophet Job, he lost his daughters. He lost his sons. He lost his daughters and he lost his sons, right? We know um, that's not the only thing he lost. He lost his servants, he lost his livestock. So there's levels to this and there's parameters that the Heavenly Father sets before Satan, what he can do and what he can't do. And that's why we have to fear Yahweh Shai. It's all in his hands, everything, right? Everything, right? And you're going to be all right. Don't worry about there's a cultist. You have a cultist following you. Don't bro, don't worry about that. Right? Um I don't want to go too much into detail, but I've picked up I've picked up on a lot of things. I've picked up on a lot of things. A lot of things. Um how about you talk about the targeting and all that? Yeah, that all that targeting, we know where it's coming from. It's coming from the left hand side. Right? Let's be real. That targeting is coming from the left hand side. Okay, that's where it's coming from. Okay, so that happens in the spiritual Ephesians 6 and 11. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. But there is a manifest, there is a physical manifestation of those that are um, Satan's children. Who, do, who would they be known as? If you were to have to put that on a nation, what nation would that be? That would be the nation of Edom. Esau, right? Which Lord willing, we could do another lesson upon that. So, with what's happening, we've got to deal with that. Job 9 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. If not, where and who is he? Who do you think's calling the shots? Who runs the banks? Who runs your stores? Who runs the airports? Follow the money. Follow the money. Look at the ones you, can't, you, you cannot criticize. Yeah, we talk about the program and all that. It's all spiritual, but who's running the world, right? You see all these things happening. Is your local drug dealer or your local roadman, is it, he may have connections, but he doesn't have all those connections where he's able to make a businessman, the plane follow you, helicopter follow you. He doesn't have that amount of power. He doesn't have that amount of power to make all that happen, right? He may know people, he may have flying monkeys, but he doesn't have that much power. Who has that much power to, when you go somewhere, right, to make people act a certain way? Who? The elites but that go by the name of, they, well, they go by different names. They're so-called Jewish. That's another lesson. I want to do a whole other lesson on that. So, you're targeting, yeah, if it's coming from the left-hand side, but it's coming from what? Those that have power. Right? Because your average neighbor, right, or whoever, someone that doesn't have any power, they're not going to be able to make all them cars move, people's traffic stop, right? Theater. So who has the power to do that? Hmm? 
It would have to be the J Jewish. You got to put. You got to follow the money. Follow the ones that are in power. So yeah, you upset someone, right? They don't like what you're saying. So, who do you think the evil's being sent from? It's being sent from the left hand side. Everything you see, that's witches orchestrating that. Everything you see, because I saw it again today. You, sometimes you just have to laugh it off, because you can't. Every battle, you can't stop at every single little battle. You have to laugh it off. I went into the bank today, nothing but theatre. Oh yeah, I'm stalking you. The man was told to say that to his friend. It's all theatre, they were told to say that, right? And when I come around, they get all, they get all shaky, the theatre starts. They were told to say that, right? This is why this is serious business. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. When you came into this truth, this is what you sign up for. But the Lord has us, Yahabashah has us, and Kai as a blessing, they they see you as a threat no matter where you go. And if you even if you were to go to Spain right now, I'm sure the same thing would happen. Same thing. Because it's spiritual. <sighs> this is first Corinthians one. And four, who comfort us, who comforteth us in all tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of the most high. So these are words for comfort, right? Well, the Lord is coming through for us. He's showing you signs, ain't he showing you signs? He's showing you them numbers, them triple fours, them sevens. Believe in Yahweh Shai. Please don't fall for the, um, the hypnotism and all that stuff. Your Yahabasha is looking out for you. Don't fall for the hypnotism. Right? Yahabasha has got you. Right? For as the sufferings of Mashiach abound in us, the same sufferings he went through, that, that abounds in us. So our consolation also abounds by Mashiach. What's our consolation? Our consolation is going to be a kingdom. Our consolation is going to be an everlasting kingdom. Not what we have here. So knowing that we have something else laid up for us, it doesn't really matter what people say or what they do, it doesn't matter. Because our eyes are supposed to be on the prize. We have something better than this. You see this whole field? This going to belong to us if it doesn't get destroyed by thermal and nuclear destruction. This is going to be all ours. All of it. Right? And it says that he may be able to comfort them which are in trouble. Right? By the comfort where we ourselves are comfort of the most high. So this is about comforting. I'm doing this lesson to comfort brothers and sisters that are really going through stuff. Certain brothers go through more than others, but if you're of the elect, it doesn't matter. Because hell is hell. The Lord Jehovah is gonna get us through this. Come on. And it says, And whether we be afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is an effectual enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer. It's for our consolations. And whether we come to it, it's for your consolation and salvation. It's for our salvation. Look at the end goal. Look at the end goal. Your story, bro, you're going to have a story to tell in the kingdom. And yes, you will have children in the kingdom. If you don't have children now, you have children in the kingdom. And I don't like to call them kids. Stop calling them kids. We're not kids. Kids is a, is a baby lamb, right? And that goes into sacrifice. I don't like calling them that. They're children. We're going to have children in the kingdom. Right, all using all these different terms. That's what the masons do, use these terms. Right? We're gonna have that. Right? We're gonna have our own kingdom. Right? We, there ain't gonna be no more pain, there ain't gonna be no more suffering. Everything is gonna be righteous. Right? And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that you are also partakers of the suffering, so shall you also be of the consolation. Right? Whew. So we went to that Baba Kishore. And I'm gonna go to what else, what else, what else? Peter's. Oh, the Lord's vouching. What you think you're gonna be doing this work? Be sincere, and the Lord ain't gonna vouch for you. He's, look, he's got you. And he knows what you can handle and what you can't handle. He's putting you through this because you're stronger than you than you you're you're stronger than you actually think. You are stronger than that than you actually think. Or then how shall I wouldn't put you through it? If you couldn't handle it. 
Right? But sometimes, you know, that's all that doubting and all that. We're going to shut off soon because um, I've got to um, get something dealt with. Right? So you are strong. Like, I don't like this camera. I need to sort out the lighting system. I don't like this lighting system. So the Lord is putting you through it because you can go through it. Let me pan the camera. What shitty camera this is, excuse me. But you know, it's better than nothing. So yeah, the Lord, you have a is putting you through it. Because you can because you can handle it. Now, if you can't, well, you may you may fall out. That's if you're not in your Habashai's hands. But it's putting you through it because you can handle it. First Peter's one and six. Where will you greatly rejoice? So now for a season in need be you are in heaven is true manifold temptations. Yeah, you're gonna get temptations. You're gonna have women that come across your way, you're gonna have the succubus demons. Because you're on your purpose, they even see that. The only thing you're focused about is your scriptures. Oh, how comes he doesn't want to lay down with me? You know, he's given more attention to these scriptures than me. Well, because we treasure this more. You know, so you're going to get the succubus, the incubus. They're going to want your seed. They see your own arm semen retention. They see you're not unleashing. They see your discipline. You're going to get all types of things happening. Business opportunities, people saying, well, yeah, we, but you need to, you know, stop doing this. And, we, you know, we will help you out. Would you come with us? And you're going to get all them things. You have a shelf was tempted as well. It's not that we don't get propositions. But it's about this is the most important thing. Okay, and it says, where was I, where was I, where was I, lost the page now, but the trial of your faith being more precious than of gold that perishes, though it might be tried with fire, key thing, fire, right, might be found unto praise and honour, so our faith is being tried with fire, fire, right, and to praise and honour and glory at the appearance of Mashiach. Whom have not seen ye love, and whom though ye see him not, ye believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable. Full. Full of glory. Right? So, the reward is already there. If you enjoy, it's already there, it's already laid up. Don't you want to be joint hands with your Shai? I'm telling you, it's worth it. Everything we're going through is worth it. I'm going to shut off soon. This is Romans 8 and 16, 17, and if, go 16. The Spirit also bears witness with our spirits that we are children of the Most High. And if children, then hairs, joint inheritors, hairs of the Most High, and joint hairs with Mashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. If so be, we may suffer with him. So we have to suffer with Yahweh Shai. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. The sufferings of this present time. Present. And a lot of times we get stuck in the present. Now, we don't look past that. We have to look past that. I'm even speaking for myself. And that's when we get into that woe is me spirit. And it says, for sure. But I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared. We get pains, we go through serious different things, serious things that we don't probably don't discuss all of it on camera. Are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us for the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation of the sons of the most high. That change, that physical change, not spiritually we've changed, mentally. That physical change we're going to be changed this flesh bro this flesh is wicked look at this flesh look in the mirror and say i want you to say this flesh is wicked this flesh is wicked right there's nothing good about it right i'm just going to move this out of the way because this this individual is going to jog past soon right i bet i bet you i bet you 10 pounds someone's going to jog past soon Right, they're gonna jog past right here. 
I'll show you how much discernment I have. Excuse me just a minute. Let's see. Let's let's make a bit. See if someone jogs through. Give me some. <laughs> Right. Give it about two minutes. Five minutes. So this is just a little bit of suffering that we're going through now, but soon the suffering's gonna be done away with. Alright? Because the Lord puts us through it. Just to test our faith. Alright? Go to Romans. Right, we're going to go to Romans 8, then we're going to shut off because I want to get back to business. Right, so Romans 8, Romans 8, Romans 8, Romans 8. Right, I told you. What did I tell you? See? See? <laughs> and we're going to shut off Romans 8 and 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but reason of him who have sub subject the same in hope. So we're subject to vanity. This flesh. We have to we, bro, we have to live in this flesh. And I don't advocate commit commit suicide now. Bro, that's a sin to commit suicide. You should never think of that. You should never be thinking like that. Right? But we're in corruptible flesh. Look at the flesh. Look in the mirror. Look at this flesh. This is, this right here is wicked. This right here is wicked. All right, there's nothing good in my flesh. Nothing good. It's vanity. It's wicked. It lusts. It evil thoughts. The flesh is just um a housing for our spirit. Who are you really? You are your your spirit. That's who you are. All right. Always remember that the flesh. This flesh is is vanity. This flesh is wicked. Yahweh. I seek to be changed, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? And the scriptures, we shall be changed in the twinkling of an eye. In the kingdom, we're not going to have pain. There's going to be no more crying. If 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 we will cry, it'll be tears of joy. You ain't going to have no more hurt. You ain't going to have no more pain. Excuse me just a minute. Right? Nothing in this world, bro. This is a learning curve. Nothing but we're learning what wickedness is, is here. Isaiah 64, just a bit of an exhortation, encouragement. Isaiah 64 and 17. For behold, I create a new heavens and a new earth, and a former that shall not, not be remembered, nor come into mind. This is all going to be renewed after the missiles hit. Right? And it says, But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create in Jerusalem a, 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 a hurt, a people, a joy. I rejoice in Jerusalem, a joy in my people, and a voice of weeping shall no man be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. Right? Everything, bro. Perfection. Everything we put our hand to, perfection. Everything we do, perfection, perfection, perfection. We ain't gonna have no worries. You ain't gonna be looking at your watch. I need to get this done quick. I need to rush. Um, you know, you you're not gonna worry about none of that. You don't need to wa uh, watch behind your back. You know, you don't need to worry about not none of that. Because we're gonna be perfected. All right? In the kingdom, everything, everything we do is gonna be per perfect. Because the laws are going to be written in our inward parts. So with this, I'm going to shut up. Lord willing, this was edifying. And until the next time, shut up, man. Keep the faith and stay encouraged, man. We nearly out of here. Right? Until the next time, shut up,